Of course, the European elections were predicted to have uh, declared a overwhelming swing to the right, and that came true. But despite the fact that it was predicted, I think it's fair to say that a few of the um, liberal left were less, I, I think... Well, they were less willing to accept that the polls could be correct because, of course, we would never vote against our liberal betters like Emmanuel Macron. And uh, they did in France. And uh, these are a few voters gathered for Macron's party. And this, is, this was their reaction. Consultation prévue à l'article 12 de notre loi. J'ai décidé de vous redonner le choix de notre loi. It just gets better, you know, the three. Oh, every time Le Pen's party wins big. Um, yeah. I mean, this this is this is seismic. But then you had the European Commission, uh, uh, the, the president of the European Commission, who is standing for, well, I was about to say she's standing for re-election. It's not actually a democratically elected system. It's, it's It has to have the vote of the members of the European Union. But she said this in response. EPP is the strongest political group in the European Parliament. EPP has the most leaders. Together with others, we will build a bastion against the extremes from the left and from the right. EPP is the strongest... So the EPP is the biggest, still the biggest bloc in the European uh, Parliament. And Ursula von der Leyen there saying, we will build a bastion against the extremes from left and right. And I said, so she's basically saying, you know, the people got it wrong. We are still the biggest bloc in, in Parliament. We don't have to deal with those right wing, horrible people that have been elected. We have to actually remove them from the discussion altogether. And I said the EU will never change. Democracy cannot change it because it isn't one. And I stand by that. And then the other thing, just before I bring you all in, Sinn Féin and in Ireland, and we've covered it on this stream week in, week out, Ireland has been going through its own mass migration moment. And Sinn Féin are the ones who are saying, come one, come all, it'll all be tickety-boo. And the Irish people are saying, well, I was going to vote for you, but you can think again, uh, Mary Lou Macdonald, if you actually think that we're going to vote for you now, if you are pro-mass migration into Ireland. And they actually were punished in the local elections and the European elections. And I was absolutely delighted. But I wonder if the two of you have any thoughts on Europe's shift to the right and also some reflections on the way in which, especially in, in Germany with the Alternative for Deutschland and France with Marine Le Pen's party, that actually the youth vote came out for people like Jordan Bardella, who is the leader, uh, chairman, president, I want to say president, of the Marine Le Pen's party. And actually that that is a seismic moment showing that the, the young people aren't swinging to the right. And I wonder, do you think this is down to mass migration, basically blighting the future of young people? Alex, I'll start with you. Yeah, well, it's it's uh, like, you know, I think you put the... You, you hit the nail on the head, Darren. You know, young people are seeing the effects of this firsthand themselves. I mean, a lot of young people are the victims of stabbings, are victims of the sort of influx of immigrants, not being able to get jobs, wages lower, not being able to afford their rents. They are some of the people that really are impacted by all these things that we're talking about now across Europe. Now, Have you got what it takes to be a reasoned presenter? Well, send us a short clip of yourself to join at reasoned.uk and we might be seeing you on this very channel very soon indeed.